Now we have one love on. One love, good morning. Morning. Am I speaking to Mama V? No, Mama V is not around. This is Kadi. This is Kadi. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Kadi. Hello, Kadi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you doing? Um, okay, considering. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be fine. And now, um, I was saying earlier on that I like your kind of music because you're different from the others and you don't tend to you know do what other people are doing you're always doing stuff that makes people go like okay it's only one love and mental who can do this and that's wonderful and i just wanted to commend you for that okay thank you <laughs> okay yeah so um um considering what's going on right now with the coronavirus and everything um I read online that you are making face masks with your sister um, from secondhand clothing. And I wanted to know more about that, how you came about the whole idea and why you decided to do this to help people. Oh, well, this is going to be a revelation. But um, just before Corona entered Ghana, like we had any cases, official cases of it, when we saw how it was spreading around the world, we at the same time had just finished doing some research around the Husu beach of how much waste fabric ends up in the ocean mm -hmm. from the second hand and goods we import as um, clothing. And because nowadays we know that like, like a lot of um, the West is dumping clothes that they will never have any use for that are actually beyond even use for us, mm -hmm. mixing it with the bills coming into the ports at and end ending up at Kantaman too. So when people buy these bills, it's low too. They never know if they are going to be able to sell 20% of the whole bill. Yeah. And so it's becoming a huge pollution problem. I think Ghana has legally banned it years ago, but still, is, I mean, we are still doing yeah. it. And so we decided like it would be good as um, irony, as well as um, practicality to give the tailors which have lost work to secondhand clothing jobs by having them make um, face masks or which we call anode drawers mm -hmm. out of the secondhand clothing and ship back to to um, the west mm -hmm. but now it seems like we also need it here so i don't know if we should be shipping it out yeah. um, however when the lockdown took place it slowed down production so it's a bit hard to get the numbers that people are requesting yeah but the lockdown has been lifted now so are you have you continued making it i um, mean it's very slow um the lockdown being lifted still doesn't mean like the tailors can gather at their place in Cantamanto to be yeah. showing where like everything will move fast because oh, the okay. fabric is right there they are right there they are in their various houses so Okades have to go where the material is, somebody sifts through it, sends it to them at various places, so it's not quite efficient. Okay. Um, can you tell yeah. us about your song, Rona Flow? Um, Rona Flow is just like a, a news update um, by taking the temperature of the city and putting it in words. And Wallace did a song called Rona Flow, which is the original, um, produced by Lisa, the composer. And then he just put the beat out and said we should all, um, whoever wants to say something about yeah. Corona or the situation. And so I also did, did my take on it. And Mensa also recently did an excellent take as well. Okay. So, um, so what message yeah. so were you? What message were you trying to? What message were you trying to send across uh, with your song Rona uh, Rona Flow? Um, not a message, but just various frustrations that I'm hearing around and echoing and kind of siding with. And I feel I express my emotion and thoughts better in music than ex just explaining it um, because it's become an intellectual thing instead of it should be more, it's a more emotional as well as, yes, yeah, more of an emotional reaction. So explaining it is a bit redundant so i think people should just listen to this song okay okay <laughs> i have listened to the song and i like it but um do you have any problem with any of the politicians we have here in ghana or the things that they do or how they handle the stuff especially during this coronavirus era and the only politician i like uh, is zanetto um, she's the only one i saw actually going into our most um and deep privileged society, which is the Kayai girls in Fadama, 
um, the Kaye women and girls there who are not receiving as much food. They are not getting the free water the government promised. Their landlords are still charging them water. Yeah. The landlords are still charging them rent, even though they are not working. And so, and I saw Zaneto go in there and feed people because um, whoever is controlling the funds right now and whoever is distributing the food is doing it according to political affiliation. They're asking people to show their MPP cards and so on, whereas everybody is hungry. This is not a time to use money that has been loaned to us. Our grand great grandchildren have to pay back this loan. And people are using it for party activities, putting their pictures and stuff on the food items before distributing it. Yeah. And only distributing yeah. to people yeah. who are members of their party. This is not fake news. This is something that a lot of people are reporting everywhere. Okay. And before I let Roland speak, there's a video of you uh, going live, I think, on Instagram in the bathroom when you were bathing. And then uh, various new news portals were like, you're just trying to show your followers or your fans how to bath. I don't know why you did that. Can you tell us why you did that? Why? I OK, so I was working out. I, I'm the kind of person who I can work out only when I feel people are watching me. If it's only me watching myself working out, I don't have the inspiration. That's why I go I like going I know, to the gym, right? yeah. doing push up. If I see some nice girls walking by, I'll just like doing push up there because it gives me <laughs> bent to work out. Anyway, so I went down on my Instagram live, but I knew people were watching and commenting, so I was working out, doing my press ups. Then I got so hot and sweaty, so I just took them with me to the bathroom. And then I was thinking, like, it's very important for people to bath very well, like, scrub everywhere. So I was showing them how we bath. Like, in Montana, wow. like, we soak the sponge, we scrub our feet and our ears, we bath everywhere. And that's one of the good ways to prevent corona. So. <laughs> Okay. That's what I was doing. Well, um, and, and we have to wrap up, but in, in these wrap up questions, uh, the question then will be uh, you, I know, usually will have international tours, and now we've had a disruption to corona uh, or coronavirus having a disruption to your calendar. How is that massively affecting you as artists, uh, somebody who is here, but usually will be having gigs um, across Europe? Yeah, man, it's crazy. I mean, um, just in three months, the, like from the month it started, for the next two months after that, we would have lost at least fifty thousand euros worth of shows. Like at be about ten, fifteen shows. So it's really messed us up because this was going to be like we got signed last year to a booking agent. So this year is like the momentum has picked up, and then it builds for next year. So it's looking like next year will rather become this year because everything will kind of have to start from a slow pace yeah. again so yeah. it's really affected us yeah i had to i was i had then my constructor building my house in every has messed up my roof so i have to do a whole new roof wow and i would have got money to do this roof from this but now oh it's rather I take a while. it's rather unfortunate but i i personally want to know why you cut your hair and if you're starting you're starting all over again. I I I, I guess I got I got bored, and also I, sometimes it scared me in the shower when I'm bathing and I raise my head and I'm washing my hair, or whatever. The locks are thick and heavy, and they'll be touching my buttocks, and I feel like somebody has entered the bathroom without notifying. <laughs> so okay. <laughs> Okay, all right. So, one love, thank you so much for hanging out with us this thank morning. You guys. Okay, thank you guys. so we are ending the show. Can you please wrap up for us? Me? Yes, you. Okay, I'd like to sing a song. Okay. Sing for us. This one is called One of Heroes. We did thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Send up this.